Hi, come on in. Hi. Have a seat. Thanks. Thanks for coming to see me. How you doing? Oh, you know, okay, I guess. Too busy as usual. I'm really looking forward to the, the month away with Diane and the kids. <laughs> Two more sleeps. I hear you. Listen, the reason I want to speak to you today is because I received a complaint from the son of a patient you saw last week, Mrs. Bergman. She died yesterday and this complaint was on my desk this morning. Oh. You talked to them about goals of care and apparently what the son took away was the hospital was refusing to treat his mom. I knew this would be a train wreck. I think you know the son's quite religious and a DNR goes completely against his beliefs. He was really upset about the way you broached the subject. So tell me what happened. Okay, uh, well, this is what happened. Um, I was on site overnight and I got a call from one of the nurses on uh, 5 North saying they'd just come in for the 7 a.m. shift, only to find that the son of this particular patient was climbing the walls because his mom had been admitted to an alternative level of care, uh, and which, as far as I remember, was only because there wasn't a bed in orthopedics. The family doctor's on vacation, and nobody has documented a discussion on the goals of care. And with good reason. Too. I mean, really, we all know that they're going to want everything possible done for this old, poor old soul. So the nurse, of course, kindly reminds me that the patient has a life-limiting illness or three, and the policy says, oh, blah, 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 so I agree to go down and meet them. When I walk into the room, the only thing I have on my mind that I'm trying to accomplish is to confirm what I already know that they're going to ask for. But... I get a look at the patient, I realize that I owe it to this poor old lady to spare her as much pain and suffering and indignity as possible. So I decide to try and get across a few of the options before they tell me they want every possible intervention. And that's just what I do. Except that I get into, you know, a few words into the first sentence and the son goes bananas, accusing me and the hospital of refusing to treat his mom and even threatening to bring forth a formal complaint. So I, I just back right off. I say, listen, if, if that's the way you want to do things, then uh, that's what we'll do. I was only trying to help. Well, it sounds like everything you did was totally appropriate, Arnold. We know the sun can be mildly unreasonable, to say the least. Yeah. I really feel for the guy. I mean, it's devastating to lose your mom, and who, I mean, who knows what else is going on there. So how are we going to respond to this? We can't leave it. No, we can't. Listen, Jill, honestly, I feel like I am just too exhausted to be able to properly deal with a complaint at this point. Can it wait until after I come back from vacation? I mean, I would love to sit down with the family doctor and the son and just set things right, but honestly, I, I can't even think of doing something like that right now. Well, I can try and postpone it, but if it attracts the attention of the QA committee, I'm going to have to ask you for a written response. Sure, if that's what you've got to do. Um, Listen, I've, I've got to get back to it. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming in, Arnold. Uh, thank you.